My name is Bryony Poulter and I'm the owner of Kitty Winks and a huge Affle personally. So I've been a collector of Lego since I was tiny. I was brought up in a Lego family. My parents were both educators and decided that Lego as an educational toy was what was needed. We added in sets to our collection every year. There wasn't a lot of money and Lego has always been a, an investment and was always seen as an investment. So it was seen as a very special gift every time we were given a new set of Lego. And uh, we basically were brought up on adding into our collection. We played with uh, particularly, they were almost like doll's house sets. Uh, my favorite I think was a piano where I got to build the piano and then there was a, a family of characters that got to sit and play at the piano. So one of my sets that I played with when I was young was a milk truck with milk bottles. Of course in those days we got uh, deliveries of milk to the door and so I got to play with what was happening in reality. I got to play in my fantasy world with my milk bottles. Uh, the milk bottles themselves were the one by one barrels and the milk truck was one of the original ones that still had Lego Land. I've still got a lot of those original sets that have Lego Land on them. Uh, the pieces are still in fantastic condition. I still get them out and I get taken back 40, 45 years. I've got four kids. When the oldest, Matthew, turned five, he desperately wanted a train and we bought a model train which he managed to dismantle and break within minutes of it getting home. We tried another one and it didn't work and someone um, suggested to us had we heard of the Lego trains which we'd never heard of before. Decided to uh, try and investigate the Lego trains and we tried to source one. With wanting this Lego train and the fact that none of the other retailers, any of the, the toy shops, none of them carried it and weren't prepared to order it for us. We approached Lego South Africa who said to us that we could only get it if we were a retailer. And so we put together a proposal to become the first home-based, catalogue-based source of uh, Lego sets as a, a Lego retailer. And that's how Kitty Ring started, in the garage at home. Um, I put together the first order, which was the Lego train, along with a couple of, of very small sets that would be quick party movers. In those days, the orders from Lego South Africa had to be a minimum quantity of a thousand rand. Uh, the cost price of the Lego train was 500 rand, and I had to make up the rest of the 500 rand from party type presents. So from the garage at home with uh, in those days we as we do now we had the catalogues. Um, I was running a, a craft market business and we took the Lego catalogues along to the craft market business and actually using those catalogues people selected sets and the first orders were put together from people's orders that they wanted so it was uh, useful i didn't have to carry a huge amount of stock i didn't have any capital outlay um, it was all just being sold straight to people so it was done more as a almost a mail order type business using the publicity from word of mouth and through the craft markets people would come to the house to the garage to collect the Lego, so we had a, a flow of people coming to the house, much to the amusement of my neighbours who saw people arriving and leaving with huge boxes of, of Lego. Um, the next incentive was really to go online and we launched the first online uh, Lego only shop. Um, it was all done in-house, there was no outsourcing of, of programmer or anyone. We had the, the skills and the computer know-how within uh, the family and it was all done in-house. So we launched the first online shop and it took off enormously. Uh, it was hugely popular. People, it was right at the beginning of the big online shopping craze and it was a, a completely novel concept for, for people. They would come and still collect their orders on the whole, 
Um, there were a lot more collections than there were uh, deliveries, but we did start delivering to the rest of the country. And it really was from there that it grew too big and there were too many people who were coming to the house to have to collect things. That we launched out and took the step of opening this branch that we're sitting in at the moment, Palmyra Junction. And that was the first branch that was opened in 2011. And uh, it's since then we've grown from there. So I think right from when I had that collection as a child, I've realized the importance of and the value of Lego. Um, and it became a bit of a passion, I think particularly as a child, because I didn't just have an unlimited source of it. Because it was restricted and, and seen as something that was uh, something valued and prized to be added on. But because of that restriction, there was this desire to collect and to try and get my hands on, in the same way as adding in uh, a Lego set each time we had a birthday or, or Christmas. I would try and do that, particularly with uh, secondhand collections, but to try and add into a growing range of Lego. And I think that was really where the idea of a collection started was in this idea of, particularly with uh, like the collectible minifigures, trying to get every one of the range, not getting duplicates if possible, or trying to swap duplicates so that the collection could grow in size. If I were to take a guess at the size of the Lego collection at the moment, the last time we tried to catalogue it, it was in excess of 1,200 sets. Um, if we count each of the minifigures separately, with each minifigure as being within the collectible series as being a unique code, then it takes it a lot bigger than that. Uh, because in themselves we have all the ranges, including the Mr. Gold. <laughs> but we do have the entire collectible minifigure series range. So that adds enormously to the sets if we count those separately. Um, I would guess it's in excess of, it's pushing 2,000 sets at the moment. Thank you for watching this episode of Block Blaze. If you have enjoyed what you've seen, please like and subscribe to the channel and share with your friends.